Well, this might take a couple of attempts, but... We'll see. Yeah, they said, like, I don't know, about 70% of the way. Let's just... Let's just launch it and see what happens here. Let's just give it a launch there. Oh, come on, it hit the pole and almost went in? Dude, that sucks. And it bumped it out of the deep blue. That was... That was some shenanigans right there. That was almost really good, though. Come on. Yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah, I got it in. Plus 10. Oh, it's only... It should at least give me, like, 11 or something. Come on. Not too bad. Hey, roll it in. Hey, look at that. Getting a lot of nice. plus 10s. Hey! Okay. I'm one point short of being perfect. Well, that sucks. You passed. Approach shots are key to scoring well, so nice work. Let's move on to the next lesson. So for this approach, we're looking at the same distance as before. We're about 10 yards from the green, and the hole is 20 yards past that. But this time, we have 30 yards of elevation gain to account for. That means you need the shot to carry a little further, so you use more power. Last but not least, for the easiest possible putt, try to stop the ball in front of the pin. It's easier to putt uphill than downhill. Is it easier to putt uphill than downhill? Really? Okay. All right, let's shoot for at least 10 points again. You've got three shots. Okay. I'm just going to, like, all right, we'll give it a little more. I think it's a little more power than I've been using. Wow. It was, like, slightly to the right. Can I, like, scooch it to the left a little bit? Scooch? I can't tell if I'm scooching. Like, it, it's... It kind of looks like... Uh, I scooched a little bit. I'll try that. Might be a little too much power now, but... Nah, it looks fine. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. I'm gonna be a tutorial master after this. Oh, what happened? Do I have to like? I probably have to reset the the like aim again a little bit. <laughs> God, the voice is just man. That voice is interesting. Wow, you showed that incline, who's boss? Maybe I need to find something tougher for you. Hmm. It's pretty easy to overshoot your target when it's downhill, so this will be good practice for you. The hole is one yard downhill and 98 feet away, which means you want to ease back on the power a little bit. See if you can stop the ball within three feet of the hole. You know the drill. Score ten or more points on three shots. All right, so we got to do, like, that's probably a little too weak, but we'll see. That was, a, uh, hey, that was actually pretty good. That was about as hard as I needed to hit it. It might have been slightly too weak, but it still went in the hole anyway, so, like, who gives a shit, right? Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. I guess I need to figure out how, like, shooting nice. uphill and downhill kind of, like, I need to pay attention to that. That's That was something I definitely wasn't paying attention to in the first couple videos I did. Hey, now we're level three and, like, three quarters, basically. I want more power. I want to be strong as fuck. Lock that power in. I want to flex on the course and scare everybody away. You nailed it. Guess this was easy for you, huh? Well, that's it for approach. Or That's it for approach work for now. Okay. All right, well, hey, we got another guy here. Hey, want to try the beginner putting lessons? Hell yeah. All right, first things first, I want you to imagine putting the ball on a perfectly flat surface. That's the best way to help you learn how to judge the distance you need to cover. Putting requires more precision than other shots. Want to learn more? Not really. <laughs> let's let's set our target 16 feet from the ball. Try to imagine a three feet three-foot circle around the cup. Okay? Okay. Our goal is to get the ball to stop just inside that area. That's a pretty small circle. To pass, you'll need to score 10 points or more, and you've got three putts to do it. I want to play, like, a really good mini golf game. That would be, like, really fun. Like, just a super good, like, mini golf game. Oh, that was a little too hard. Like, a super good mini golf game. I don't know what makes a mini golf game, like, super good. I don't know. They're not really, like, they're not really games people really try to seek out, right? You never hear anyone talking like, oh, this is, like, really great mini golf game everyone's got to play. Like, I know there's, like, what, Golf with Friends or, like, I know there's a couple games out there that are, you know, they do exist and people do play them, but it's never, like, I never see people going crazy about, like, a mini golf game, you know? Well, that seemed easy for you. I suppose I'll have to give you a bit more of a challenge. 
So we're looking at a putt of about 16 feet again, but this time the green isn't flat. I'd say it's a baby hill at a one foot. Yeah, it's one of the baby hills. Try to nudge this one so it stops within three feet of the cup. Again, you'll need 10 points or more to pass, and you've got three putts. So I guess we're going like, we're going uphill a little bit. Is that what we're doing? Seems like we're going uphill a little bit. So I gotta be a little bit stronger. We'll figure it out, I guess. Bam, beautiful. This is definitely stuff I'll have to keep in mind for the future, of course. Of course, I can do it now that they're telling me, like, hey, it's uphill, but, like, I'll probably forget later, and then that's how it works. Nice! I love for I love forgetting mechanics. I'll tell you that much. I love forgetting them. I read it, and then I forget, and I'm like, I don't know what to do. Who knows? They never taught me. I usually don't say they never taught me. I just forget about stuff. You've got long uphill putts dialed, and well done. Now let's bump up the challenge. This is a straight 16-foot putt, same as before. However, this one is downhill all the way. It's a one-foot slope from the ball to the hole. See if you can get within three feet. Same as before. Try to score ten boards. Oh, okay. All right, we're going downhill. So now it's got to be a little bit of a weaker shot, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm learning a little bit. I've learned a little bit. I've definitely learned some things. Learned a thing or two. Nice! Okay! <laughs> okay! I'm never gonna... Never... Oh, I got two levels that time. We'll put one into power, because I gotta be strong. I'm gonna put how straight you can hit the ball, how fast you can run, how long you can dash, how much you can spin slash shape shot. I don't know, like, I like power. I don't know what speed would probably be good since we probably have to run around a whole bunch. I bet speed would be pretty good. I'm gonna go with speed for now. I don't really know what speed does. Like, I, I have an idea. It's like when you're running from ball to ball because that's how, like, one of the game modes works in this game. So, like, being faster is probably good. I just have no idea how much it really impacts you, but I'm going to level it up anyway just because it, sa it sounds good. I don't know if it is good, but it sounds good. Nice touch. You've mastered the art of downhill putting. That'll do it for this lesson. And we got another guy to talk to. Hey, Hot Shot, you busy? Because I've got a putting challenge here, and I need someone to test it on. How about it? You want to take my putting challenge for a spin? Hell yeah. I love the bright white transition screens here. I always love getting flash banged in the dark. It's on. Okay, you've got nine shots to score at least 80 points. Go. Same elevation. I don't know. Okay. Let's bop that in. Bam. Look at that. Look at it go. It's in. Does this change depending on the same elevation? Yeah, it's still the same elevation, I guess. Okay. I don't know if anything's really changed. Yeah, same elevation. Okay. I guess we'll just keep doing these long putts. I, I guess it is a little bit longer. Oh, this is uphill now. Yeah, it does change a little bit. So we got to put a little more power on that. I don't know if I put enough on it, but... Oh, come on. Really? I'm like one inch away. Uphill again? All right, we need a little more power. That was a little more, I think, right? There we go. I was like one inch away. That sucks. The old one incher. Is this going like downhill? Okay, it's downhill. I can't tell if it's straight or it's like I think I think it's straight where I'm at. So all right, we're downhill. It needs to be a little less powerful. Bam. Feeling good. Feeling good about this. We're downhill again, okay. That might be a little weak, but it's fine. Ah, that was, that was pretty solid. Downhill again. You got it. Nice. Okay. I missed I missed out on one point. Level six and a half. I don't know. It's a level of power. Going power. Hold on. Whoop. Hey, there we go. 
I'll probably lay off on power eventually. Power just seems like it would be good. I don't know. Oh, come on. I know luck when I see it. Fine, you win. Feel free to beat it again if you want. He's calling me lucky. Wait, does this guy have another challenge over here? Who is this? I just cooked up a tough approach shot challenge, but so far no one has dared to uh, approach it. How about, are you brave enough to school my approach challenge? Hell yeah, I am. Your approach challenge probably sucks. Well, maybe I won't be able to do it because I'm being blinded by this white flashbang screen that everyone loves to have. Showtime, you have nine shots to get at least 80 points. Take it away. Almost same elevation. Okay, well. This might be a little too hard, but. Oh, that was like way too hard. Plus a. Okay, let's do it, uh... Oh, shit, let's do it a little softer this time. Well, it was better. It's not perfect, but it was a little bit better, I guess. This is probably gonna be about the same shot, I feel like. Well, that was actually a little bit better than the other one. Just getting, getting a little better and better. Almost same elevation, okay... I think this is probably what I'm going to have, like, the... Oh, shit, I probably should have put a lot more power on that. This is probably what I'm going to have the, the most issue on. It's, like, the uphill-downhill kind of... kind of stuff. I gotta put a little more power on it, because we're, like, up uphill now, so... Probably too much power. Oh, get in the... Hey, hey, the flag, the pole actually helped me out a little bit. That was pretty good. That wasn't too bad. This is like the worst I've done on any of these challenges so far, but get in. Yeah, got it in. I got no additional points for that, but it's cool. Now, see, now we're downhill. It's like, oh, that was probably a little too, a little too strong there. Oh, the pole helped a little bit, I think. It probably would have gone a little bit too far. But I need to do like, yeah, I need to do like even less power. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff right there. That was a little too strong, I think. I might have been a little bit too strong again. Oh, yeah. That was a little bit too strong. Stay in the blue, you bastard. Stay in the blue. Not the orange. Nice. Okay. <laughs> okay. Get another level. And maybe a little control. How straight can we hit the ball? Yeah, a little control might be good. Probably go back to power, maybe do a little spin. Hey, hey. That was a swing of beauty. Several, actually, I'm halfway impressed. Let me know if you want to do it again. Nah, I'm good. Anyone else around here? No, it doesn't look like anyone else has any challenges. We have a bunch of characters we could talk to, but... Can you run in this game? I'm, I'm, like, hitting buttons and shit. It doesn't seem like I can run. Does anyone else have any... Oh, yeah, there's another guy over here with another challenge, it kind of looks like. I need all the level ups I can get, damn it. Hey, hey. Know what's hot? Sending a tee shot exactly where you want it to go. I've set up a little tee shot accuracy challenge, and I want to see if you can best it. So what do you say? You up to nailing a few tee shots? Oh, I'm up to nailing. I'm going to nail these shots. Right after I get some corrective eye surgery, because I am getting flashbanged over and over again. Let's see what you've got. You have 10 shots to score, to try and score at least 80 points. All right, I'm going to do a little bit of backspin there. Nice shot. And we'll hope that it just kind of stays in. Nice. This is probably, the elevation and stuff is probably going to change a little bit, though, as time goes on, so. I get the feeling it's nice not going to be as easy as just blasting, like, 10 shots and having it be the same every time. After this one, or maybe even on this one, it'll probably change a little bit if I had to guess. Because that's what the other challenges have been doing. You get like two or three shots that are like one kind of scenario, and then it kind of changes from there. Nice shot. Beautiful shot. Might have been a little too hard, though, but... Stay in the 10. Stay. 
Thank you. Nice shot. Getting 10s all day. Hey, maybe this... Oh, it's... Oh, the, the position of... Oh, it's... uh Yeah, it's changed a little bit now, at least. So now I should probably do, like, I don't know, a little bit of, little bit of forward spin, a little top spin on that bad boy. Might be a little too hard, but we'll see. It's like the first and second kind of, like, tutorial we did here is just kind of, like, they're kind of combined into the... into, like, a gauntlet now. Like, this feels like exactly what I did earlier over here, but now it's just the two of them combined or whatever. Like, whatever we did earlier has just been kind of combined, and that's what we're doing. I got this shit on lock, though. Look at this. It's just straight up tens across the board. Until I screw up. Of course, now that I'm, like, bragging about it, it'll be, I'll screw it up, and I'll probably miss, but... Can I be happy about my success ever? Ever. I know it's a small success, but come on. You gotta give me something. How many more shots do I have to take? I think I'm on like... I need like maybe one more shot after this. Nice shot. Should be the last one. I might get a perfect score here. Hey, perfect, beautiful, perfect score right there. Of course, nice. everyone, golf, little golf clap for that. I don't know if you can really hear it, but... We're leveling up again, we might even get two level ups. We got two level ups, we're putting that into power, and how about, I guess, spin. I haven't leveled up spin, really. I'll probably keep leveling up power after this. Huh, alright, how did you do that? That's very suspicious. Well, I'll be here if you want to do it again. I like how everyone's like, you're doing so good, we think you're cheating. Like, I'm about to get randomly drug tested for, like, performance-enhancing drugs on a Mario golf course. Like, all of the Koopas are super suspicious of me. They're like, wait a minute. This guy looks like he weighs about 70 pounds soaking wet. How's he doing this good? How's he hitting the ball so far? This guy's a rookie? This is bullshit. He's got to be cheating. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, am I supposed to go to the rookie course now? Is that what we're doing? I can't remember what they told me to do, so this is a surprise to me. Let's see what we got. We got that guy. We can talk to that guy. Like, I want to talk to the NPCs, but they, they really don't seem to have a lot to offer. Like, it's just kind of like, you know, optional chit-chat. This little course is for golfers who have taken some lessons and are ready to try around. We call it the rookie course. Got it. I like this pink golf cart over here. Is that Peaches? Probably Peaches. Hey there, done with all the all your lessons? Yep. Well done, you're ready to hit the rookie course. Thanks, Goomba. Rookie course ahead. All right, what do you have to say? So you passed the basic lessons already. That's great. Now you're ready to play a few holes as a test. Are you ready now? Yes. Want to learn how shift can affect the accuracy of your shots? Sure. Shots can shift based on a variety of factors, including power, lie, and club selection. Shift is displayed next to the shot gauge. After setting a shot's power, shift is determined at random. If you set a shot's power in an area of the gauge with low shift, you'll get a more accurate result in terms of both distance and control. The area of the shot gauge with low shift is called the safe zone. If you set a shot's power in an area of the gauge with high shift, it'll be much less accurate both in distance and control. The area of the shot gauge with high shift is called the risk zone. The exclamation point icon will be displayed if you set a shot's power in the risk zone. To hit accurate shots, use less power and aim for the safe zone. Okay. When hitting from bad lies, like out of the rough or a bunker, the safe zone will be smaller. The bigger the risk zone, the more likely it is that shift will end up affecting your shot. Okay. Longer clubs like the driver have smaller safe zones than clubs that don't hit the ball as far. Consider both safe and risk zones when selecting a club and how shift could affect the distance and accuracy of each shot. Great, so this is pretty simple. You're going to play three holes on the rookie course, finish in five over par, or better to pass it. That's it. Don't worry about running from hole to hole just yet. Focus on making good shots and scoring under the limit. 
That risk zone thing? I didn't even know about that. That was... You know, I learned something new there. I had no clue that was even a thing. I learned, I learned a little bit new there, which is pretty good. All right, well. So we got a little bit of wind, 11 miles an hour wind. I'm going to hit it over there. And I don't even care about the rift zone. I'm just going to blast it, because why not? Bam. Blast that shit. So the risk zone is probably a little more like active, or it's probably something you really need to pay attention to. Like, I don't know, maybe so at like more delicate times. Like, I'm not really sure. Like, it obviously has an impact on stuff, but I'm not exactly sure when I would want to like be safe or when I wouldn't get in the hole. Get in the fucking hole! Oh, come on, really? I shouldn't have shifted to the left a bit. I think I shifted a little bit to the nice left, up. but... Birdie. We got a birdie attempt here. It looks a little... We're gonna have to aim a little bit to the right a little bit, maybe. Bam. Get in the hole. You gotta be kidding me, you bastard. <laughs> I rung it. Oh, shit, I hit that way too hard. I was too mad about the ringer. Nice job. On to hole number two. Ready? I'm gonna blast this in the risk the risk zone again. The risky zone of riskness. I'm heading for that bunker. I'm kinda worried. I don't think it's gonna roll that now, it's not. This one's totally going in the hole. Okay, no, that's way that's way too much power. That's gonna roll right the hell past, right into the rough. Okay. That's cool. That's real cool. How about that? Oh come on, it went to the left. Whatever, I can I can probably get a par here, you know? It's fine, par is okay. I think I might get under five par, or well, I guess it's five or under. Yeah, finish three holes at plus five or better. I think I'm gonna be okay, unless I really screw this up really badly. I've already done these courses before anyway, so. Here we go, let's get a nice, that might be a little, that might be a little too weak, but here we go, hole in one time. You ready? No, that's way too far to the right already. And the wind was blowing back. I didn't account for any of that shit. Hey, I got on the green, though. That could have nice been worse. Up. 20 feet to the hole, though, and I have to, like... This is gonna suck ass, dude. I'm not getting this. Oh, come on, really? Well, the power was good, but I should have aimed it more to the right. It's fine, though. We're, we're, yeah, we're under five. We're under five. Nice job. I'm in a nice zero. I was really hoping for the hole in one, but nice. that, that obviously didn't happen. What do I use coins on? I've been getting coins. I don't think that's XP, right? No, I have 2,400 coins. Actually, 3,100 now. Power. I want the power. I don't know what the coins are for. Can I buy, like, a new outfit? I want to buy new outfits and stuff. Yeah. Nice, you crushed that test. Great job learning the basics. On to the next challenge. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, which is right now a surprise. For this test, you'll need to complete three holes within a time limit and score well, too. Yeah. You have ten minutes to finish a par three, a par four, and a par five in a total score of three over par or better. I have hiccups. This is what's called speed golf, so you have to run to your ball after each shot. Are you ready? Hey, hey. Yep, I'm ready. I haven't done this before. I'll take it from here. Leave the timer and scorekeeping to me. Thanks, Toad. <laughs> In this practice round, you'll be running all over the course. Want me to explain how movement works? Sure, I don't know how to do this, actually. Tilt the left stick to run in that direction. Press uh, the A to jump, okay? Press, uh, what is that, B? It's probably a B. I think it's a B. The controller's a little... can't really see. I, press B while running to dash. It's faster than running, but it uses stamina. You can also push opponents out of the way while you're dashing. Press L when your stamina bar is green to special dash. This lets you run super fast, but uses up stamina quickly. 
you run into an opponent into an opponent while special dashing, you can knock them off balance. When it's time to take a shot, the controls are the same as before. Just remember that you'll need to run to your ball with L, the left stick, and dash with B. And keep an eye on that stamina gauge. It'll replenish if you take a break from dashing, so try to plan accordingly. Again, I never know what buttons are what on, like, the Nintendo controllers, like... I've talked about this before, but it, for a while, for like several generations, it just seemed like every controller had a different layout and different like button labels. So I just like, I just stopped trying to like care about it after a while. Now I don't know any of the buttons on any of the Nintendo controllers and I feel like a boomer. I feel like a super, like a, just a super boomer, I guess. Well, we got to run to our ball. I kind of forgot about that. Look at me, I'm sprinting. I'm trying to sprint. Nice, huh? Going as fast as my little orange pants can go. Go, orange pants, go! I'm exhausted. It's actually pretty close. Let me aim it to the left slightly. Sl eh, I don't really know. Well, whatever. Let's try this. I might have screwed myself over here. Get in! Oh, yeah. Nice. Got that. Barely got that in. <laughs> All right, well, now I know how to run around a little bit, so that's good. Ready? Well, this is a pretty long hole here. Got some top spin on that bad boy, and we launch it. So what happens if I, like, special dash, like, right from the beginning? I don't know if that's, like, the play or not. It's probably better to use special dash if you have other characters around you, like a, like other opponents around you, because you push them out of the way or stun them or whatever the hell they said you do, so. See, we gotta go left a little bit. The wind is at our back, so that's interesting. Okay, let me, uh, let me do a little bit of, like, that. See how that goes. Might have been a little too weak, but I don't... Oh, that was definitely too weak. And I'm in the rough? Oh, good. I thought I thought maybe holding my power would be the play, but... I don't think I was, like, that far off. Maybe if I had a little bit more power, it would have been good. This was actually pretty close. Tap that in. Nice par. Nice par. Thanks, announcer guy. I don't know, is that the same announcer from, like, Wii Sports? Probably not. Wii Sports came out, like, 14 years ago, so... <laughs> Almost a decade and a half, no big deal. He's probably not the same guy. Can I just, like, go over here? What's stopping me from just, like, launching the ball over there? Oh, a big tree is in the way. Okay, well, that, that might have something to do with it. Yeah, I think I might just go this way. I think we're just going to go over here, because I don't really, you know, I've, I hit a lot of trees on my first, my first run through, so. And hitting trees is real bad, because the ball just, like, stops going anywhere. So it's, like, real bad to hit trees. Do you run slower in, like, the rough and the, seems like, oh yeah, you run way slower in the bunker, I feel like. Seems like maybe the surface you're on has something to do with that. If I hit the ball here, is it gonna go over the bunker or not? I I I don't think it's gonna. You know, I'm just gonna. I want to put the ball there. I feel like I'll I feel like I'll just land in the bunker. What was that? Yeah, that was. I wish I could change the voice. You know, just make the voice a little different. I wish I could have like a more like adult voice. Like, I know I don't have the deepest voice of all time, but, like, it sounds more adult-like than whatever's going on here, right? I don't think I've ever had someone say I sounded like a child, so... That might be a little too hard, but I'm trying to account for the wind. It might have been a little too hard, though. Wait, did it go in? Chip in. It went in? I got... I... Nice eagle. <laughs> what? What a shock that was. It actually went I was like, did that go in? It went in. Wow. Wow, that was... I gotta say, that was nice. unexpected. Okay. That was beautiful. 
I'm impre I'm a little impressed at that. That was probably like 90% luck, but hey, impressive. I almost got three levels for that. Okay. I still have 41 coins. I don't know what the coins do. All right, let's upgrade speed. And let's upgrade power cuz I'm I'm powerful. Feeling powerful after that chip and that chip was beautiful. You ever seen a more beautiful chip than that probably, but that was still beautiful. You passed. Nice work. Thanks, coach. That means you finished within the time limit and got a nice score to boot. Now you're ready for a qualifying round. Hey, hey. Just head to the gate behind the clubhouse when you're ready to give it a try. Hey, hey. Yeah. By the way, even though you can play freely now, don't forget what it took to get here. Hey, hey. Keep practicing your shots and refining your techniques. Once a student of the game, always a student of the game. <laughs> you got it. I think there's like any more, I don't know, challenges anywhere. Kind of doubt it. I wish you could run in this area, but it doesn't really seem like you can, so. I don't know what this chat. I don't know if I have to play, like, a full round of golf or something, but like, wants me to go that way. I'm going to go this way, see if there's any more challenges. I kind of doubt it. Yeah, no one has any, like, new stuff above their head. At least none of these guys do. Like, everyone has the kind of, like, speech bubble, but it's not really what I'm looking for, you know? All right, well, let's head back to the clubhouse and see what they want me to do. Some sort of, like, qualifying round or something? Let's see exactly what this entails. They just want me to, like, leave. They just want me to, like, leave. What does this say? Main course ahead. Okay. Welcome to the Bonnie Green's main course. Checking lesson progress. Okay to play qualifying round. I don't know what qualifying round is. Want to learn how to curve shots before starting? Nah, I think I know how to do that. This is your first qualifying round, so I'll just go over a few things. You'll be golfing with two other players, and there's a time limit for each shot, so pay close attention. You'll all play nine holes. Nine holes, not nine hoes. Nine holes total. And after each shot, you'll need to run up to the spot where your ball ended up. Qualify for a tournament, you'll need to score plus four or better. All right, good luck out there. Well, this is probably going to take a little bit, and I don't have a whole bunch of time right now because there is some stuff I have to take care of. I was hoping it would be something short, like three holes I could probably do. I think nine holes is going to be a little too long for me. So we'll probably pick back up here when we come back next time. Unfortunately, it does just kind of, like, throw me right into this, but I wonder if, like, I wonder what happens if I just kind of, like, quit out. Back to Adventure, yeah. Let me go back to Adventure. We've gotten through a lot of the kind of initial setup for this mode and a lot of the tutorial stuff. Sorry, that score won't qualify you to advance, but you can always try again. Oh, wow, quitting in the middle of the course didn't qualify me? Wow. It's a good idea to level up your skills by taking lessons in the practice area or by trying another qualifying round. You got it. So we've got a lot of the initial setup and the tutorial stuff and talking to people out of the way, so hopefully from here on out it'll be a little bit more hands-on with golfing and stuff i i didn't think there would be like such a long setup but you know the between making a character and like getting through kind of the tutorial stuff that took like 30 or 40 minutes so when we come back next time we'll do this qualifying round and move on from there uh jumping into the mode has been pretty fun so far i mean i didn't i didn't really i didn't know that this would be in the game like i just thought it was like oh you jump in you like you can just kind of play some golf against cpus if you have nintendo online you can go online and play against people there's like a cool little single player mode where you make a character and just kind of level them up so that's pretty neat hopefully it's uh you know fun moving forward but we'll find out when we come back next time and we'll do our qualifying round but that's it for now thanks for watching i'll see you guys then